So welcome back to No Place. And today I'm doing this hype. Get hyped. Place with Privatoz in human players and we have the blue team and we have like a bunch of nice looking cars. And the guy, this particular guy with the stick outfit will eventually become my arch nemesis for some reason in this series. And as we take the first corner, the bane of my existence of this game, missing checkpoints. Like on a serious note, it is the reason why I fucking despise this game. But I can say getting punted from behind a bit was not actually the reason I missed it. I was a bit too fast in the corner, but okay. So I did this particular trial thing a few times to get a proper car that I actually want to race with. Considering that it's an S2998 race and overtaking someone there it just went into the cell realm for some reason but currently since we are team blue we certainly have actually quite a lot of uh, points but we are slowly gaining points wise onto the uh, onto the red team there. but I'm still going to in the tight bend here yeah, because I mean I tried doing this with the Lamborghini Centenario and the Vanilla both good handling cars but for some reason I just couldn't get to uh, stay within the actual uh, tight bends so nicely with those cars and keep up with my uh, speed catching up to me under the cars now and I see I'm not sure if the 11th place driver is actually still in the game with us but I will call GG Antipo for me if he's not so I'm catching up to this dude who will become a not catching up, I just lost the whole plot there and bumping into that guy. So, blue team has 1500 points, where is red? It's 1515. But I'm not sure what's happening with the second race, to be honest. And blue team wins for some reason. But the guy with the the stick outfit, um, you see as to in this race why he becomes the bane of my existence after actually me trying to still stay within the race itself. So it's nice sunny weather doing yoga poses dancing there with your weird green car so like straight off the bed my acceleration wasn't good but i'm catching up and here's the thing look the driver tours for some reason play don't play by the same physics as the rest of the game or even players for that matter. I'm still doing good, keeping with the pack. My acceleration and breaking points, I think, is like really um, not as good as I would like it to be. So I'm overtaking the, the La Ferrari, and this Barra straight up just blocks me from getting the checkpoint, which is 
the bane of my existence. The, the checkpoints are concerned. Because I do try to drive over the flag or at least um, flip the flag with my back end. And it's the legal. It keeps you in the race. And you score sometimes. So for me this whole five laps is just trying to catch up to the rest of the pack basically. So one of the reasons I say I dislike the fact that the driver dogs are not playing by the same rules as the rest of the game. They have it's like we are playing Forza and they are playing split second where they have the ability to shunt you like just left to right the whole time. Um, and they have, in my opinion, like they would have monstrous acceleration, like from standstill. And I'm like, okay, but you know, it's just totally, in my opinion. So I'm slowly catching up to these three guys in front, which right now my only concern is to catch up to basically just collect some points so that we don't have to struggle in the third race basically because like the 11th place driver on the previous um, round as well they do just decided it's not part of the race there's what I've been with the acceleration of the driver does like why is that do just uh, driving away from the like that, like I'm the one staying in store. And I noticed that I almost missed another flag because I'm trying to cut the flags really, really closely. And basically, most of my tries, I, I, I try to come past them or something. The Ferrari is just being a bliss, and now he's mocking me. He's either mocking me for saying see you, see ya, or he's just randomly talking to a driver tar that can't respond back. The driver tar gives zero fucks about you and what the fuck you need to text about. But my mission now is to catch up to this guy and fucking punch him out of the way. But because we have 1,800 points in he drops to last place or something like that it's gonna be a useless endeavor for us to basically partake in the third race because the third race is a wild one it's in the wet ah, and home passes you finally you can't box and then I think he does something slip up passing the game yeah Let's see what's happening because it's the one thing you don't see here. Hmm, you went too wide there. Ah, and uh, the avoidable war running a bit there. I think that's one of the reasons. I think I bumped him slightly to push him into the war there, but. It's nearly all day. We have 1,900 points now, making it so that this race is ours. So, making the score, I think, we are making the score 2-0 at this point, um, providing we can still finish in this order. Cheeky, looking back there. So, across the finish line. Again, showing the dude with the yoga pants who came both races in last position. I don't understand. 
why we are showing the most often idiot person. I think he's actually standing so he's lost again. Mm -mm -mm. Such a kind box. And they they do punch me to see if his mother is at home. Hi Tani, is it dar? The only thing that's going through my mind at this moment in time is I don't want to miss the checkpoint. I wasn't aware of where the checkpoint is. But lucky me, I still had to go towards it. Good vibes to drive it off from the previous race who was in first place. I see he's in uh, last. So again, this race is just me playing catch up again. Because, oh, I almost missed that one again. Because I am. I would just sing to the shadow and need to open the reason. But being a good person. We're just trying to win some points. But the thing is, whether we win or lose this one, it is um, it's still a win pass. And the prize is a fucking super spell. I oh. missed my. No breaking point there. And there's. Goose, whatever. Excellent goose. 72. So this one. With the. Up your. Twist and turn. Twist and turns of this particular part of the race. It is. Like. I just felt like I was doing hill climbing and I had like the best worst score to do it in but still um, I managed to get through it in a house pretty good and it does matter the only thing going through my mind is not the freaking um, must flags must my breaking points because even though the breaking line shows me where to break the problem with that is I don't think the breaking line takes into consideration your car's actual breaking ability it's just like a line specific specifying like uh, you are going too fast per corner kind of a thing which annoys me um, because I think one of my friends he doesn't drive with the braking line on and in areas where I'm like braking he's not uh, because the line will um, tell me look here you need to brake your not so whole plan is to eventually get good enough to actually not use the rising line or the breaking line. I already moved away from the rising line. So hopefully we'll get good enough to do that one day. Uh, and I put up to some of them. So let's see if I can stay within uh, oh, you see there is a thing even though I'm doing this voiceover I still get the uh, feeling that I am going to miss a breaking point even though I know I didn't miss it. <laughs> let's see what's gonna happen here. Eh? I think driving in the driving in rainy weather and snowy weather is like the biggest shit point of driving for me in this game. Um, and to think that I'm doing so well to actually catch up to the guys who's the front runners here. Yeah. So we're leaving at 50 points now, but for me to catch up, even though I'm using full direction control and full um, 
stability control and there goes my arts nemesis biggest cunt box under the sun and I have to be cheeky about like, giving the max yeah. for giving me cuck in the previous race or the first race yeah um, I'm trying to think who is the one who said it now it's JFK uh, never um, forgive your enemies but never ever forget their names it's like yeah you can't you fucking bumped me off the road I won't remember you for that and my character standing there child where the rest of the uh, uh, players are being fucking idiots and here's the super spin that we they the one that I punted me off the road for so I'll see you guys with the next one and check out the other Forza related content uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this so you my Pokemon spider or spider will see you again